yes during the uh, creation of key vaults and keys do you see my screen please my azure portal everyone please Yes, everyone, please confirm. Yes, Karandeep, Karthik, Lokesh, Bolik, Naga, Siddharth, Naresh, yes, yes. Neetu, Roju, Yogita. Please check your yes, mic, please, yes. Ashwin. Jyotir, my. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes, sir. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Yes, sir. Thank you, friends. Thank you, attendees. You've been responsive. If my YSC is go for some reason, do let me know because I am on travel. Okay, I just park my car in a nearby Decathlon shop and taking the class here in the parking lot in case only for today i'll be back to hyderabad by tomorrow um and we are meeting 30 minutes early tomorrow okay let's have about 30 minutes past today during creation of key vault no error happy no problem in case of any error let me show you the possible error and the solution okay let's observe carefully Yes, here we go. Let me just adjust my light. Yep. Yeah. Just wait. Let's observe carefully here. So, our requirement. For example, I'll take key vault. Okay. Let's take, for example, say key vault. Let's see. Just wait for a few moments. Let's hold down. Let's wait for a few moments. Let's hold down. Let's wait. This one is okay. Uh, key, right? Key vault. If you remember the previous classes. Say key vault. And click on the key vault. Click on create. Resource group. Any resource group is fine. As you wish, it's fine. And key vault name. Okay. Region. I'll say some key vault name. Okay. Anything is fine. Region. And next. Pricing tier, either standard or premium, anything is fine. Well, during creation of the key vault, no problem, it works. Okay, it works. Creation of key vault is okay. But, while creating the key, the second step, you may see error. Let me show you the possible error. I could see if you attend this join bit late. Please be informed. We are just revising the previous item. Um, hope there is no issue with my screen sharing, right? Please check it everyone. Ashwin, Jyotirmai, Karamdeep, Karthik, Lokesh, Maulik, Naga, Siddhartha, Naresh. Please check it please. Neetu. No issues. Yeah, Roju. Yeah, yes, please. No sir, it's fine. Perfect, perfect. Any delay, let me know, okay. As mentioned earlier, we have a small transit here. Now go to a key vault. Come on friends, come on please. What is the next step? You remember previous class? What is the next step? Come on, on what is the next step, please? I'll wait. You remember, please? Keys. Ha, huh, that's it, keys. Yep. Others you forgot. Maybe happy weekend. Please, 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 please. They're all very important, okay? Let's learn it for a reason, please. Go to keys and this one, okay? Generate key. Hope you remember now, everyone. Yes, last week journey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Attendees who are not responsive, please, please, please shake your mic, please. The moment you click create, you may see an error like this. 
operation not allowed by RBAC. The role based access control that we have learned in the last week initial sessions. The caller is not authorized to perform action on the resource. Come on, let's think practically. It says the caller. Caller means me. Okay, me. My account is not authorized to perform new key creation. Are we getting it, please? Mean, literally speaking, I don't have permissions. Clear, please, everyone. Getting it now? I'll wait, please. Yes. Are we getting yes, the reason yes. for the error, please? I'll wait, please. Others, I'll wait. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Every step is important for our final project. Okay, let's stay tuned. So, what I do? Let me give you the solution now. I could see few participants giving me WhatsApp messages about the error. So let me give you the solution now. During creation of the key vault, during creation of the key vault, what's the problem again? Problem statement. My account do not have permissions. Okay. So what we do? Well, as usual, we provide the key. I'll say, for example, key vault uh, for ADLS security. That's fine. Next. Go to access configuration. RBAC is there, right? Give these resources access to RBAC because in the error, and even the recommended practice to provide access to our back. The role based access, we got four roles last week classes owner, contributor, our back admin, and access admin. Default, we have Raider as well, four plus one. Four roles in one tab, Raider, the fifth one in another tab. Now, here you are giving role based access control. Azure VMs, resource templates. We are going to understand template deployment next. Encryption. Okay. This one. This is what actually we need. Please, everyone, are you getting it now? I'll wait. Yes. Are we getting it, please? I'm audible. Am I audible to you, please? Check it. Yes. I'll wait, please. Yeah. Yes, 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 sir. Roju. Or need to Naresh, please shake your mics, please. Siddharth, yeah. Karthi, Karamdi, please shake your mic, please. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Saha. I hear you, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Let's continue. Yes. Next. Okay. You gave the R back. And what next? That should be fine. That should be fine. Or other option, vault access policy. Well, first option encryption okay that is one solution to the error okay because a common, there are common errors we are generally facing our day-to-day -day work so we cannot go by books all the time okay i mean to say that now go to vault access policy go to vault access policy the other option just a radio button anyone you can use once again encryption Remaining two optional but required for our later classes template deployments, ARM templates. Remember this, okay? ARM template. Remember this, please. ARM Azure Resource Manager template. Remember the term. Attendees are writing their running notes. Please understand and underline it. ARM Azure Resource Manager template. We'll touch base with this concept in next few days, next few classes, mostly this week by Friday, Friday or Thursday's class. Click on create and template there is one important template called here you go key secret certificate management key and secret secret certificate all combinations but we don't want them our subject area data lake and storage so select it 
what's the problem again permission problem so select all permissions it's not enough scroll down okay and again select all permissions it is the permission problem so select all permissions and we are all set now the question here to whom you are providing these permissions to one principal come on what is principal last week classes i was telling you to underline that statement in your notes you got the print copy notes with you principal means users right you remember please everyone yes principal users remember or not everyone principal means yes, uh, AD, microsoft entra users you remember please i'll wait yes sir, yes, sir. yeah yes sir please yes. refer to uh, third chapter or document the print copy next so provide the storage provider it is a system predefined principle that predefined principle system storage resource provider should be given all these permissions go to application is completely optional create this is the process let's select all and review plus create i'll repeat again okay to make it clear go to key vault go to key vault then once you go to key vault what do you do click create and give the resource group okay give the resource group just wait friends okay please hold on give the resource group just wait now. once you give the resource group, just wait okay next give the key give the key any uh, name is fine i'll say adls just wait okay hold on for few minutes yes adls key vault new let's understand the concept next we'll talk about uh, retain day soft delete we are not discussing it now we are talking about only the access part first or second first or second for today's class for tomorrow's class okay today and tomorrow or later classes and vm for uh, classes from wednesday we are going to have something called ubuntu vms okay remember ubuntu vms coming up next for spinning up class uh, spark clusters for big data analytics spark clusters we need this uh, concept so there's a dependency between uh, the item we are discussing right now and the remaining part of our classes this week hence i'm taking a bit more time and explaining it again and again very important for us select all these options and create okay create template adls select all select all select all sorry for the background sound select all select all and select all what else make sure we check everything principal come on what is the principal name hope you remember please storage provider yes everyone please are we getting it now yes yes, yes sir yes sir yes it will take some time to get this entry over here that's enough review plus create in olden days okay there was no microsoft entra until last year september and before that so we used to directly create the key vault it works so even the microsoft docs also talks about the same steps that i was showing in the previous class as for the microsoft docs also 
but once microsoft entra came into uh, azure things changed a lot in terms of security so better we are up to date safe say once your key vault is created let's wait previously we had an error right 10 minutes ago let's wait let's get it created in the meantime i'll get ready with our uh, next topic notes to save time i'll get ready we are supposed to understand about few more optimization techniques if you remember yes please hope you remember that yes hope you remember i said there are two more techniques right optimization techniques hope you remember please previous class no problem i'll continue we thought of having a uh, mock test right i'll send you some faqs can i export your answers before next class tomorrow please yes everyone please i'll wait yes. okay sir. okay sir ah uh, now yes. tell me now tell me do you remember there are two more optimizations we need to learn i was telling you remember please optimization techniques forgot what are the optimization techniques we learned in the previous class you remember please in the meantime i'm creating the key what are the optimization techniques we learned in the previous class please you remember like a use the ads we got monitors egress ingress e to e latency alerts from alerts we got some optimization techniques what are they please you remember i'll wait okay i thought you are cautious serious you went through the notes i thought my calculation was wrong right please before tomorrow's class everyone please everyone please yes before tomorrow's yes, class everyone yeah, please yes, try, use ads try mr sir use ads ha huh, exactly uh, brother yes come on friends please these are our notes from the previous class right use yeah you use got some question activity what more serial like bottle you want come on please please use jrs and lrs if possible exactly exactly set question marks now these are the leftovers you remember please everyone come on let's have a friendly mock test tomorrow or i'll, I'll send you some uh, questions today okay scenario based activities try to solve them please no theory complete need to scenario based please try to work on them please need your support now we need to have this question marks what are these let's understand i'll continue the previous class notes but before that hope it is clear everyone i'll wait yes please hope it is clear everyone i'll wait yes yes sir yes sir perfect please try yes. to work on them okay give a try this way it should work if not let me know i'm there let's continue now let's go back to and we know how to use the keys link it to uh, encryption cmk mmk etc that part is fine now let's understand the leftover part go to storage account before last week and last week we have been uploading content to storage container right this one at the time of uploading the content you might have observed certain properties for example let me just upload one content here there are certain properties we should be aware of let's wait for some time it's taking a bit longer time to load let's hold on let's wait let's wait it's taking a bit longer time right yeah i'll say container
say create it's not coming up let's wait or i can make use of existing containers also let me quickly go to our you page click container it should be coming up actually if not we'll quickly create a new um adls account let me show you here refresh ideally we should be able to see the containers list if not i need to refresh the browser that's it let's wait for some time please wait yeah here it is okay you got the container you got the container once we go to container next upload the file Let's upload a file. I'll provide you some scenario based questions, interesting scenario based questions. Try to work on them. If not, let me know. I'm there to give the solutions. But before tomorrow's class, please give it a try. Now, you see something called hot. So far, we are only learning about okay, incremental loads, IoT getting the data bringing the data or accessing the data etc now some additional items architecture items access tier blob type what are these let's understand you already have the notes with you from the previous class let's understand the blob files the blob files we store in Azure storage account supports three variants. Say we upload two. We upload. I'll mail you the updated notes. Storage account supports three variants: block blob, append blob, phase blob block blob files are divided into blocks for large volumes of data for example last week classes we learnt backpack in such a case go for block blob append blob mainly for append operations incremental loads files are divided into blocks same thing files are divided into blocks first and even second also but this is something different the block size is about 4 mb and the file size can be up to 195 gig okay so block blob is mainly for big data like our backpack files initial db migrations azure sql db migrations concept the very next example we learnt in november hope you remember the very next example we learnt iot live temperature capture from the microsoft data centers using raspberry app there we got incremental loads hope you remember please these two items in sequence last week classes yes are you with me please i'll wait yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir perfect phase block applicable for random reads and writes for etl staging logging something called polybase in data factory classes we have these examples not only that one more thing to be added now please kindly uh, check our website download the updated curriculum i included ai also we are going to enjoy those examples mostly early next week 
data bricks okay there's a secret data bricks is growing very fast and we are going to start data bricks module from day after tomorrow our usual time 7 pm ist but i want your utmost concentration and utmost utmost interaction in the class okay please my kind request i'll provide you one whatsapp message today to everyone about the updated curriculum uh, snapshot okay i'll provide it to you there i already included ai this one ai with data bricks it's never the case in the past bronze silver tables redefined python iot these are never included in the previous journey we have it now we'll do it slowly step by step let's do it why to compromise yes. Yay, Mr. Sai, thank you. Thank you so much, sister. My duty, I'll do. Let's do it carefully, okay? But I need your support. I need a response. Let's continue now. Page blob for everyone. For the participants from other uh, training institutes and other, you know, partners and consultants, everyone the same concepts, right? No problem. But more we respond, more we get. That's always there. Please. Let me continue now. One small add-on applicable for what else very very important python iot we learnt raspberry iot right in the uh, earlier classes we are going to use because if the raspberry app is using node.js my client don't require they don't want node.js they love python they got python lifelong license for support python iot okay applicable for python iot and and end to end integration with data bricks here comes something called pyspark in this example also we are going to use Pace blob. So remember, friends, I was mentioning before last week. It's a chemistry class, not a history class. I need your support. Let me continue. Size of each block is about 512 KB. Now Microsoft has uh, redefined the pace block very recently. I verified the Microsoft Docs last weekend, and it is the thing. 1024 MB, huge range now. 1 GB. And files can be up to the latest Microsoft Doc. It says up to 99 terabytes. Well, these uh, metrics, the number game is important for certification DP203. Okay, in case. We may not expect those questions in interviews. But for certification, we need them. But these are important. When to use which are important. Block, blob, backpack file, append blob, IOT, paste blob for random reads and writes adf incremental loads python iot and end to end integration with data bricks as per our class examples every blob has one of the below content type back to our things here okay there is something called blog blob here apart from blog blob you got hot what is this let's see very simple hot applicable for data that is frequently modified live very costly like our iot hubs example earlier hot inferred inferred actually meaning based on a particular event inferred means if exist that's actual meaning here technically if exist whenever there is a event whenever there is a scheduled event manual or scheduled event then make use of art inferred. Cool. Applicable for data that is infrequently modified and accessible. Minimum storage time is 30 days. You take Amazon. You take Snowflake. You take Azure. You take Alibaba Cloud. You take Google Storage Buckets. Same process. Hot. IoT. Hot inferred. Event hub. Cool. 30 days. For 30 days you don't disturb it. You try to disturb, it gives you a nice error. Cold. 90 days we cannot disturb. We are forced to pay for 90 days. 
archive 180 days shell life within one not shell life actually speaking say the storage time we cannot delete within those 180 days we have to use it and we have to bear the cost so remember these are the different five different blob types and three different blob variants content types blob types blob types on top okay and content types here now the question you should ask me sai where do you control these let me show you at the time of uploading the file browse for the file give some file there is something called advanced this is the place where we modify or control the type of blob block page append okay live live near real time right and incremental loads append means incremental like iot block size you can change the block size as needed better leave it to default and if in case of any ETE latency error, then we increase the block size. Get by bigger blocks. It improves performance, but more network utilization. Remember, big truck needs wide road, right? Same thing here. Big block needs more network bandwidth. Okay? So whenever we go for frequent very very frequent real time activities there is every every possibility of network congestion whenever there is a network congestion reduce the block size no network congestion but performance problems increase the block size just our road and the truck concept road is narrow go for a smaller truck road is wide Less traffic, go for a bigger truck. My transport becomes easier. Next, access. Here are the things. Hot, live real time. Hot in for near real time. Cool, cold archive. And apart from this, key. Provide some key blob index tag. It is completely optional. If you give the key, then we can filter the data easily because index will be auto created based on the key. For example, our IoT concept, sorry, I'm referring to IoT multiple times today because it is one of the wonderful examples we did last week. Say, I'll say, for example, timestamp, okay, and give the value any value or for example id assume a blob file with employee id say thousand one or ten thousand one if the value is frequently getting repeated you better index it now what kind of value for example gender okay gender m i would like to index m gender f or for example location india so these values just like filtered index in your sql okay create index index name on table name where gender equal to m gender equal to f just like a filtered index in our regular sql database so based on these keys and the values indexes will be created automatically remember that so remember once again what we are learning now number one number one it got uploaded successfully number one we are talking about blob type block append page access tier hot art inferred cool cold archive And with this information, whenever primary storage account, primary storage account commits your data back to our replication, 
when e tag a unique commit id is auto generated e stands for egress hope you remember this please everyone e stands for egress yes please yes hope you remember e yes, sir. egress tag egress e to e latency yes. egress ingress yes fine now based on that e tag one index will be auto created Additionally, for hot data content type, one index is built for easy access of these e tags. Remember, only for hot data, index will be created. For cold data, no index will be created because index maintenance also involves extra cost, right? That has to be considered, that has to be taken into consideration. We'll stop for today. We we'll stop for today. We had about some 35 minutes class today. We we'll stop for now. Please make sure you complete all your practice carefully. I'll send you the email now with all this information. Please, my request, go through the things carefully. And I was telling you, right? We need to step into uh, AI, a new add-on. We'll do slowly, step by step. Make sure we do the practice on time. I want you to have AI in your resumes, please. Part of our course will do. At least two examples I'll take. Minimum two will do. Need your support. On time practice. I'll send you some mail with few um, attachments. Please go through them carefully. Please make sure we receive the mail in next one minute. Please wait. Any questions in the meantime, let me know, please. I'll wait. Please, any questions, let me know, please. I'll wait. So, yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Tell me. Yep. Today, what we learned that uh, auto, scalab auto scalability or do we have to do manually that thing? Like, uh, so like according uh, to the traffic. Do manually, like uh, while uploading the file, I did it manually, right? Isn't it? We have to. Yeah. We have to. No, no. But uh, in a real time, like uh, uh, we have to do manually, right? We have to. Yes. Okay. By default, okay. automatic keys, the first options you see in the screen. You are fine with it? Okay. No problem. If not, we have to do it manually, brother. We have to. Yes. All right. We'll stop for today. Hope you received the mail. Please check it. I'll wait, please. Hope you got the email, everyone. Please check it, friends. I'll wait, please. I'll wait.